Okay, I'm sure most of you got this. Um, it is foreshadowing. The old dog, the death of the uh, Candy's old dog foreshadows, um, well, a couple of things really. It foreshadows in uh, what's going to happen to um, Candy over time. He's going to be thrown out and discarded in the way that the dog is. But more powerfully, within the confines of the novel, it foreshadows um, the shooting at the end. Um, so uh, there you are, it was foreshadowing, and uh, now let's move on to uh, the rest of the lesson. Learning objective today is to begin, and possibly finish, uh, a piece of creative writing inspired by the road, very loosely inspired by the road. So put the title into your book, uh, The Road, A Creative Response. Now the road, as you probably gathered from the parts of it that we've looked at, and you may well have seen the film or or even read the book, he's a brilliant writer called Mac McCarthy, um, is, a is a story set in a dystopian future. We don't really know what's happened, but things have gone horribly wrong with the world. Now, I don't want to focus on that because I think there's a lot of, um, uh, counterintuitively, there's a lot of positivity in this story and um, also in the parts that we've read. And I think it's to do with family and uh, blood being thicker than water and so on. Uh, or family ties anyway, um, because it's a father and son and the only thing that keeps uh, the father going is uh, he's trying to get his son to some place that um, uh, where they can begin again. His son is a young boy and they're kind of, um, you know, young people are very optimistic anyway, but his dad's sort of pushing on and doing all of this um, uh, because he wants his son to have a better life. So I think it's positive in that regard that his dad pushes through all of this horror uh, to try and create something better for his son. So that's the aspect of the book I want to uh, to uh, focus on. Now this is um, a slightly uh, tweaked an actual GCSE question. This would be question five, um, which is worth 40 marks, which is half the value of the paper, 25% of your language GCSE in total. Um, so we do need to work on this creative writing. Um, so the story is to be called Family Ties. And in your writing, you need to choose a clear viewpoint, describe the setting and explore the effect of family on events and feelings. Um, you get those type of bullet points um, in the GCSE. That is, I say, straight from a GCSE paper. So write that question um, into your books. And when you've done that, go to the next slide. As I say, first of all, we have to make a plan. Before we go any further, you'd have an hour to do this. Um, in the exam, so you would spend 10 minutes making a quick plan. Um, here's mine, uh, well, here's my guidance, uh, first of all, for what you need to make your plan. Uh, no more than two characters, that's two main characters, um, a protagonist and an antagonist. You can have other minor characters, obviously, um, but two characters that are actually involved in the uh, plot of the story. They need to go on a journey, it doesn't have to be uh, a physical journey, it could be a journey in their mind they have to be um slightly different have to be changed by the end of the story to how they were at the beginning even if they just feel differently about things um, and um, we use the opposites objectives a cage and a clock opposites the antagonist the protagonist have to uh, they don't actually have to be opposites but they have to be clearly distinct from each other um, they have to want different things um, remember jaws when we looked at that scene the shark wants to eat him and he wants to shoot the shark and survive so that were their those were their objectives there has to be a cage remember this is um you know not literally a cage a metaphorical cage they have to be somehow stuck in the situation they can't just walk away or there's no tension and there has to be a clock time has to be running down as well so here's mine um family ties it was wasn't it so uh, a man has to pay some money back he borrowed from a loan shark a loan shark being a sort of gangster who lends money at ridiculous um, interest rates and then hurts you if you don't pay him back or possibly even kills you the loan shark has given him 24 hours to pay um, and his old mother is bedridden with an illness so there you are uh, a man has to pay back some money he borrowed from a loan shark um, so the objectives, uh, the opposites are, is the loan shark wants his money back and the man either wants to get the money to pay him back or somehow get out of the situation. The loan shark has given him 24 hours to pay. That's the clock right there. Um, and uh, the protagonist has got a mother who's bedridden with an illness. So he's in a cage. He can't just run away um, because then the loan shark would hurt his mother. 
And SPAG is important, obviously. We've been looking um, over the last two lessons at uh, lots of sensory writing, that is writing that involves the senses. So I want to see lots of metaphors, similes, personifications, and so on. And uh, make sure you use varied sentence starters, powerful vocabulary, correct punctuation, punctuation, and sentence length for effect. Um, so there you are, that's my plan. Um, if you wanted to, you could write that one up. Um, alternatively, you can come up with one of your own. But remember the, uh, the, um, the, the techniques that we use, a journey, opposites, objectives, occasion, a clock. So there we are, family ties, use this as a title for a story. Um, now, I would really like to see these stories um, year nine. I appreciate it may not be easy perhaps for you to send them to me, but uh, if you do, I'll give you feedback on them and um, give you achievement points and so on. So uh, there you are, enjoy that for the next um, hour. And uh, I will speak to you, actually, I will speak to you uh, next week now. That's our last lesson this week. I'll be putting a quiz up shortly, just going over some of the things that we've, uh, that we've covered this week. So have a look for that. It will be on the, on the class chart with everything else. And uh, thank you. Well done. And I'll um, speak to you next week.